select the pen tool, which is this little icon here. Select the tool. I'm going to drop one dot and I'm going to drop the second dot and drag. And I will continue to do this throughout the whole drawing. So at the moment, on the left hand side at the bottom, there are two circles. One shows that is white, which is the feeling, and the other shows a little cross, which says that it has no outline. So I'm going to flip this so the film uh, becomes the outline, and I'm going to zoom in, and now I see that I can see my line with the color that I flipped. Okay, so I'm going to go into the center. And don't worry too much if it's not perfect because we're going to go back and fix it. So to fix these little bits that don't follow the contour, what I'm going to go do is select the second tool, which is the direct selection line uh, tool. By selecting the nodes, you activate a bunch of settings that you can see at the bottom on that little bar. And then it shows you how you can make them um, a right angle node or a curved angle node. So you go uh, and assign a different type of function on the node where it is a straight angle or rounded in order to achieve the curvature or straightness that you need in each part of your drawing. And remember, it doesn't have to be super perfect. It just needs to be close enough to the desired shape because later on, we're gonna make some changes. When I have all those, I'm gonna proceed to do the eyes. Select the shape tool, hold, and then select the circle tool. And I'm going to click and drag until I make a circle that looks similar to the eye. Now, to resize it, I'm going to go back to the selection tool, because if not, it will continue creating circles, and then make it as big as I want it to be. Now, I'm going to do this circle for the internal part. So what I can do is duplicate that, move it to the side and make it a little bit smaller inside the eye and then duplicate it again and make that one a little bit smaller. Notice that the duplicate tool is these two little um, boxes on top of each other with a plus on it. And then, and then size it. So I, I press duplicate twice, so it made two. So I'm going to just select that one and delete it. Okay, so I have one eye. I'm pretty happy with how the eye looks. I'm gonna select those three pieces and I'm going to group them. When I group them, which is this tool that, I, that has a box with two little boxes in there underneath, that means it's grouped and I can duplicate it. So press the duplicate button next to it and then I can move it and now I have two eyes. Um, they don't have to match exactly, but close enough in position because obviously my drawing is not going to be perfect. Now I'm going to create another drawing of the beak, which is in this case the sound hole. And that beak, um, it's going to be a different in color later on, but we'll see that in a minute. Make the wings, so one dot. Another dog click and drag, another. Until I finish. Now this wing needs a little bit more dots extra. So I'm gonna tap on different points of the wing with the pencil to be able to add more points. So I can reposition these points uh, later to make it look more like the wing I have on my drawing. So that wing looks pretty good and I'm gonna copy that wing across. So I'm gonna press copy and then move it across 
to the position it should be on. So obviously the orientation is uh, not correct. So we're gonna go to the right hand side where we have all these um, settings or tools. And we're gonna go to um, the align tool, distribute and flip. And we're gonna flip that wing so it's got the correct orientation. Obviously, again, this wing is not going to be perfect, but we don't worry about perfect because obviously this is a hand-drawn original design. And we're going to put the curve for the feet. So I got my owl and it's got everything that I want and need in the design. So I'm just going to select the drawing with your finger and then tap on the lock thing and then select it again and then delete it.